Howdy, I'm Katie Calderon. Howdy, I'm Hunter Bull. Howdy, I'm Gabe Kant. Howdy, I'm Gabriel Deutsch. Howdy, I'm Michael McCulloch. Howdy, I'm Nee Tran. And we're MME, MME team. team. In partnership with Club Girl Golf, our team was tasked with developing a portable, repeatable swing testing machine designed to help accelerate club development and support USGA compliance testing. Designing golf equipment requires testing where the clubs perform accurately and consistently. For a growing company like Club Girl Golf, testing their designs for performance and USGA compliance is essential. But the current industry testing solutions rely on large, motorized, stationary machines that cost well over $100,000. These systems are not portable, require dedicated power, and are impractical for a startup like Club Girl Golf. They're in need of a machine that can deliver consistent and repeatable swings, can hit every club from driver through putter, and can work in tandem with their simulator to run performance testing. Our capstone project was to engineer a system that meets all their needs within a budget of $2,500 while keeping it portable, adjustable, and easy to operate. Existing golf swing machines are advanced, but they come with major limitations. They are fully motorized, require reliable power sources, and weigh thousands of pounds. Many models must be mounted to a trailer or a concrete foundation, making them stationary, where a startup like Club Girl Golf needs a portable solution since they won't be testing at a range at their office. These machines are also motorized and need a designated power source at all times, whereas Club Girl Golf will be testing at ranges that don't have power. Our final design addresses all of these limitations by replacing motors with a spring-loaded energy system thus reducing cost, eliminating power requirements, and creating a compact and portable platform. We began our project by meeting with our sponsor to understand their exact needs and reviewing the engineering requirements set out for us. From there, we researched current swing robots and examined their strengths and weaknesses. Thanks to our sponsor, we also got to speak with a few different industry experts who had either worked with one of these machines in the past or had built one so that we had a general idea of how they worked. We generated several designs and evaluated each one using feasibility, safety, cost, portability, and technical performance metrics. We originally explored motorized designs, but through analysis we found that they introduced several challenges. Increased weight, high cost, greater power requirements, and additional safety risks due to rotating motor-driven components and wiring. A spring-powered design allowed us to produce the same repeatable swing motion while reducing complexity, eliminating the need for electrical power on the range and maintaining full portability. This trade-off analysis was an important part of selecting the optimal mechanism for our sponsor's needs. After selecting a final design direction, we created full CAD models of our parts and ordered all components and manufactured parts using CNCs water jetting, welding, and additive manufacturing. Our process included height and angle calculations to replicate realistic human swing geometry, spring energy and torque considerations, conversions from swing speed to ball speed to approximate performance, and design adjustments to ensure consistency and repeatability in our final design. After machining assembly and integration, we began testing to refine performance and validate our final prototype. The base is a three-layer system engineered for portability, adjustability, and stability. The first tier is the widest, which provides a stable foundation that can be weighted down using sandbags to eliminate the need for mounting to a concrete foundation. The second tier houses the scissor jack. This component allows the machine to easily raise or lower up to two feet so that every club from driver to putter can be positioned at the correct height. The third tier locks into place using anchors and brackets, providing a rigid structure during testing while still allowing quick setup during transport. This third tier is also home to our tilted mechanism and housing. This adjustable base ensures accurate ball positioning and consistent alignment across all clubs. The base is also small enough that it can comfortably fit in the bed of any truck alongside all the other needed components, which makes it even easier to transport. The housing contains our axle and collar assembly. The collar was CNC machine and includes two eye bolts, which connects to interchangeable tension springs. The collar locks into the axle using a pin that goes through the collar and axle and is locked into place by the eye bolts. The springs are attached to the eye bolts and then connected to the housing by connecting around the bolts through one of the four corners of the housing. The back plate acts as a safety shield so that if a spring ever disconnects, it cannot eject toward the operator. This design is simple, but highly effective at allowing our machine to work in almost any environment. It also ensures affordability and reliable swing data. The swing arm attaches directly to the axle and can rotate freely with 360 degrees of motion. 
It is locked into position using a pin and locking collar to keep it in place near the end of the arm. The grip holders have been fastened to the end of the arm to mimic the, the utmost and lowest positions of contact in a person's grip of the club. These grip holders secure the club using specially molded silicone inserts. These inserts provide a strong, stable grip on the club while also dampening vibrations that occur during impact of the ball. This protects the arm and ensures that no unwanted forces affect the consistency of the machine as well as its data collection. Below, we designed a sliding tee system that allows up to 15 inches of ball position adjustment on either side. This enables toe, heel, center, high, and low impact testing without needing to reposition the entire machine. A fold-out plank automatically aligns the ball with the golf simulator at the correct reading distance, making setup fast, consistent, and easy. Now, the overall operation of this machine is actually quite simple once it is set up and in place. First, you adjust the height of the machine for what's needed for each specific club by adjusting the scissor jack and then locking the anchors in place. Next, you place your springs into the housing by first attaching one side to an eye bolt and then placing the other end through one of the locking screws. Once the springs are in place, you slide the housing's back plate down and lock it into place with the locking screws. Then you move the tilt plate black to the desired angle for the club being tested. After that, you may place the club into the grip holders and lock it into place using the tightening screws. Carefully pull, pull the arm back to the desired position on the swing plate and put the locking pin through the holes to keep the arm in place. Then place a ball down on the tee and once you're ready, pull the pin to release the arm and watch it swing. This process can be repeated by pulling the arm back again, placing another ball, and then watching it swing again until testing has been completed. To disassemble, just simply undo the locking screws and the tightening screws to remove the club and the springs. To test the machine, we used a Garmin R50 simulator alongside the machine to get accurate data and see if our system was actually working and hitting our speed requirements set for each club. This would show us if we were producing or if things needed to be tweaked in the design or spring choice. For example, one of our tests produced the following results. 55 mile an hour swing speed, 15 degree launch angle, 1800 RPM spin rate, and 48 yards of carry. We conducted extensive testing with multiple different springs to see if we could find the best combination. With moderate torque springs, we achieved swing speeds which maxed out at 55 miles per hour. When we tested at a much higher torque spring, the force exceeded the limits of graphite and steel shafts causing them to break. While this might seem like a failure, it actually validated our sponsor's explanation that each shaft has a defined limit of how much it can flex and exceeding it will always cause a break, even with human golfers. With lower torque springs, we successfully produced shots traveling approximately 50 yards. But because these springs were lower quality, they eventually stretched past their compression limits and broke mid-testing. After speaking with our sponsor, they planned to order custom torque springs that matched their testing speeds. This will unlock the full performance range of the machine that we set out to meet originally. This machine will have an immediate and long-term impact on Club Girl Golf. By enabling in-house testing, they will reduce prototyping costs, accelerate R&D cycles, and compare designs rapidly without waiting for external test facilities. With total spend on this project, we ended up coming in a little more than $36 under budget and have provided Club Girl Golf with a machine they are quite excited to get to use to help develop their newest line of clubs. This project has given our team the opportunity to grow significantly as engineers. From concept development to manufacturing, testing, and iteration, we applied everything we've learned in our program to deliver a functional, portable, and effective golf swing testing machine. We are proud to hand this machine over to Club Girl Golf, and thank you for watching.